I should probably do some math. Uh, I played a bunch of Mario Maker in like early 2020. I created a couple levels, none of them are very good. And then I didn't play for like a year and a half. But I keep getting like a half dozen notifications each day about plays of my levels. Hypothetically, I could calculate if people have been playing them a couple times a day, every day for that year and a half, or if more like I suspect, you get your levels played more regularly if you are playing the game. I have definitely also heard similarly that you must remain an active player to maintain your position on the leaderboards. Like if you stop for something like 30 days and you, you don't play for 30 consecutive days, then you'll disappear off the leaderboards. And so that's one way for people to move up if somebody above them stops playing. Yeah. Your phrasing there, weird algorithm, uh, makes me think about uh, all the talk that goes on amongst primarily Twitch streamers about how the endless algorithm works. I'm sure they've got more data available than they make obvious in the game. So I totally believe that there's something like not just completion a percent like we see in the game, but something more like the number of people that try it and either completely quit or skip or uh, the number that uh, actually complete it or something. Also, I think, like I was saying, I think they have some kind of bias for creators that are active players getting to see that their levels are get being played. Oh, I wanted you down as well. Okay. Uh, what's the easiest way to do that? Not not like this? Okay. Uh, yeah, definitely going through. Oh, well, I can't go through the door anymore. So I have to go over you. Okay, now you go down. Now... I think, I think part of the problem is the leaderboards. Today, you would get legitimately pretty angry if the endless algorithm changed a bit and your position was diluted because everybody gets easy levels now or something. So I can see why they would want to not change it, but yeah, that is largely why... Oh. That's largely why I don't really play Endless much. For me, at my particular level of skill, what I really enjoy doing, uh, normal is too easy, and expert is too hard, by far. Oh, how do I do this fast enough? So, expert, it's like a constant frustration. I have to like diligently look for skips and one-up attempts and so on. It gets old real fast. And of course, the joke, of course, is that it uh, it's not endless at all. It ends very rapidly for me. One of the problems that I always had with Endless Expert is I... Well, well, hey, like I said, I have to very carefully prepare level skips. Like, there's so many... It's like speedrun levels that drop a spring on you and instantly kill you unless you're ready to react within milliseconds. So, as soon as I see the word speedrun in the title, I have to, like, hover over the start button. No, I hold left and hover over the minus button, and I'm prepared to skip before it kills me. 
And I, I have to always be ready for that. And then after putting in the, the careful work to find a level that doesn't kill me immediately, it seems like I might be able to complete it. I, I put in like a minute, a minute and a half, and I make a silly mistake, and I get frustrated and I skip. And there goes a life. And that happens ten more times, and then I'm out of lives, and there's my endless run. And so I've been trying a little bit of no skip. I think I still skip speedruns and obvious trolls, but otherwise I try very legitimately. If I start a level, I finish it, no matter what. I finish it or I finish the run. Yeah, the arrows are telling me go up. Oh, and I can do that easily by going on top of you now. So I've had some success with that. I've, I've made it to like five, seven clears maybe a few times. Uh, here comes a thwomp. And it's a little bit more enjoyable because I'm actually playing the game. But really, putting the work in to find the list myself and doing puzzles. Or, with Twitch, letting my viewers find the puzzles for me works just as well. Oh, that was close. I almost crushed myself. Oh, I never turned OCR on. Just looked over to check how long it had been. It's not running, so it's not telling me. Ah, CP2! Yeah, in hindsight, that seems kind of obvious. That's the that's the height that I can jump. Okay. Okay. Jump, jump. Oh, oh no, there's more. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, oh, oh. I see arrows. Um. Oh. close on the recovery there at the end. All right. Slightly hectic at the end there for me, but we got it. We got there in the end. <laughs>